But Canada now has its first ever fully functional, fully Canadian electric vehicle. It's called Project Arrow, and it's a collaboration between more than 50 auto parts makers, two universities, and thousands of hours of blood, Ooh. sweat, and tears. Christina Howard, City News reporter, has been following the project behind the scenes for several months now so and joins cool. us this morning. This is exciting. Good morning, Christina. Good morning, Christina. This is awesome. Good morning, Dina. Good morning, Devo. And yes, it is very exciting. Right behind me, Project Arrow, as you said, the first ever fully Canadian, fully functioning concept protocol vehicle, the brainchild of the Automotive Parts Manufacturing Association, or otherwise known as the APMA, and a couple of their big wigs, and that would be Colin Dillon, their chief technology officer, and of course, Flavio Volpe, their president. So, Flavio, I've got to ask you, why would a trade association get into the manufacturing business? Well, it represent companies that make 75% of uh, the vehicles they supply. So if you go to, a, to an assembly plant for General Motors, Toyota, 75% of that stuff comes in there uh, to be assembled on the spot. But we don't have a Canadian car company and we haven't had a sustainable car company in 100 years. And very difficult to tell the Canadian story with that one. So we thought with all of the companies that we represent, the 530 companies that bid to be on this project, could we build one? And we did. It took us three years. We debuted it in uh, Las Vegas at the biggest uh, technology trade show in the world. And our Canadian debut is this week at the Toronto Auto Show. That's right. And I have to say that I was in Vegas at the CES, and it was definitely one of the highlights. Even American reporters and just people from all over the world were flocking to this vehicle. We're going to be seeing it for the very first time on Canadian soil That's this right. weekend. Why would you call it Project Arrow? So the, I think all of us were inspired by the legendary Avro Arrow. And never mind how it ended. What it was was, here's a clean sheet for Canadian technology. What can you do? Well, they flew twice as high and twice as fast as anything the Americans did or the Russians did at, this, at that time. And we thought uh, we represented auto parts and aircraft suppliers in the 50s. So some of our members 70 years ago were on the Arrow, and we said, why don't we bring everybody back together and see if we can take some of that same energy and put it on the ground. And so we called it Project Arrow, and we think it belongs to Canada. So as you're saying this, I can see that there's a couple of students milling about here at Ontario Tech University, and they've been really an integral part of this. They're getting the car, the vehicle ready to head to Toronto for the show. But show me some of the truly unique sure. Canadian features here, because I noticed the maple floor. So first thing is a maple floor, and our, and our partners here at Ontario Tech University, has, we're our build partners, and, and a lot of these students you see here uh, we're hands-on, full-time, helping to build this with industry. One of the things we wanted to do was, let's start with a nod to Canada. We have a maple floor. And a lot of the technology is uh, local to the GTA. We have... I'm going to take a seat here. Sure. You're, you're, you're sitting in a seat with intelligent textiles made by uh, Woodbridge Group up in Woodbridge. Uh, and it's connected to a steering wheel uh, put together by Mayant, which is a, you, what you have here is intelligent textiles that will track your vitals as you drive. This is, a, this is a level three autonomous vehicle, and we've oriented a lot of the technologies inside that are normally on the outside of the vehicle, sensors, cameras, AI. Um, the AI platform in this car, which people will see as this tours the world, uh, is based on a, a, another GTA company called Geotab, one of the world's leaders in getting all that data that those sensors and cameras uh, bring in and help to drive this vehicle. You're sitting under a solar roof, which and, I think is really cool. Yeah. So it's actually generating energy as you're driving. Yeah, look, so we, we thought about, uh, this is a, the issue here in Canada is we've got cold winters and range comes down. How, how can we extend range? You're sitting under a solar roof that's going to help that and you're sitting on top of a battery that comes from a company called Volt Explorer that's got graphene in the cathode and anode to extend that range. What we want to be able to do is um, start the conversation. You know, there was a big report out last week that said range comes down in cold weather. Why don't we have a Canadian car company? Well, we went for Canadian solutions in here. So why did you decide to go with EV versus a combustion engine? Well, combustion engine has been done, and a lot of our bigger companies like a Linamar or a Magna or a Martin Rea make engines for the biggest companies in the world. Uh, where the world is going is electrifying. Uh, pretty soon, you know, the Prime Minister thinks uh, that we're going to get to close to 100% uh, EVs in the 2030s on new sales. Well, rather than to turn around and say, we're going to wait for an order, let's show everybody we can do it. The, the two electric motors in this car come from a company in Quebec called TM4. And uh, companies like Linamar that have an e-gear based in Guelph that can sell millions of e-gears that attach to these motors to every single car company in the world. 
So is the goal to actually manufacture this vehicle? Because I know a lot of people are going to be asking about that. Well, the, this vehicle is, is a showcase of Canadian technologies. We've talked to 14 car companies around the world about everything, including the, the magnesium B pillars and everything else that's in this car. Uh, but everybody asks me the same question. Uh, can we buy one? Well, you can buy the first one from me, but it costs us about $20 million. <laughs> So $20 million, that's a crazy price tag. 